Well, hello there and welcome to another live stream. Today I'm going to be setting up the Combination Ville mod and showing you how that works. Hopefully I remember how to do the images. I'm a bit worried about that. I'm not really sure I can remember, but we'll see. And then um, once that's done, I'll do a playthrough of the three official maps and maybe even the bonus map as well because that's been updated. So... What I do is I take a previous mapping competition and copy everything over because starting from completely from afresh is just crazy. So as you can see, I have the combination fill folder here. And the first thing I do is I change the game info. So this is the game info. And I really just change the name of the map, uh, the mod, sorry. Um, and the location it will go to. There's no point visiting that now if you're actually watching because it's not up there. So it needs to be up there. It's not live, so. All right, and then the other things that I need to change. Well, first of all, I obviously need to put all of the maps in and these are the name of the maps. Now the graphs might not be there yet because I haven't played them. The nest is there because it was supplied. So that's okay. So for the CFGs, what I need to do is I need to edit the files themselves. All right, so what you can see here is if I open chapter one, there's nothing in it. Chapter two is already open, and these are from the previous maps. Now, what I've decided to do is list them alphabetically. So if I go back to the name of the maps, the first map is Canal Flight. So what I need to do is um, I need to call it exactly the same. So canal underscore flight underscore PPMC, which is Planet Philip Mapping Competition, and then CV for Combinationville. And then I save that. And then for number two, I need to call it the nest. So I will rename that the, the nest underscore ppmc underscore cv all right so that's saved number three needs to be um volatile energy underscore ppmc all right good and then number four I think is already done but um, let's have a look anyway yeah number four is already done okay so I now have those what that means is that when people click on the images of the new chapters it goes to the right map that's what that does then the configure whoops the configure is really just the details of what you you know uh, what configuration you use now that will be deleted when I send out the file and that will be recreated by your system automatically which means it should take up all of the binds and other things as well it's possible to include it but then it means that you have to play with my settings or you have to manually change them all right now this particular file um, tells um, the system to make sure that all of the chapters are unlocked there are other things that you can do with this file uh, and remember that I'm not an expert by any means at all. Uh, so what you do here is you tell the system that you should have all of the chapters unlocked. If I put that to zero, what would happen is you'd have to play the first map before you could play the second and so on. But I don't really want that to happen. I, there's no reason for you to play the maps in any order. All right. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to... All right, make sure I don't have any custom so I can remove that. Now the download lists, if it opens, um, need to make sure that they've got the right file in. So what I'm going to do here, I should have done this earlier. I'll open this halfway. And then I'll have this up here. All right, so what I can do is I can copy these across into here. And what they do is they make sure that they're downloading everything that they need. So what we have here is we have the Canal Flight. So Canal Flight has the correct file name for the map and the correct file name for the 
um, ANI file which is in the graphs so that can be closed the CV bonus CV bonus has the correct file name good now these two are copies so these need to be renamed and this needs to be renamed to the nest so I can close these because these won't be there um, and then this one needs to be renamed to the names of the map volatile energy alright good so these need to be opened I just need to double check I really don't want to make sure that I've got that wrong right so I'll just copy the name the file name that's fine okay so that one can be saved and then the other one is the nest so that's a very simple change save that all right so those are working now the media the media here is the um, the video this BIK is the format that the video is and this startup text basically tells you that when the mod starts this is what it should do I think you can have other videos so you could probably put a couple of different videos if you've got like a like a website that you're supporting or you've got a couple of different videos for different you know members of the team you I think you can do as many of those as you want anyway now the readme contains the readmes from the maps which I put in here it's nothing to do there now the resources well one of the things I needed to do is I need to rename this file uh, to have exactly the same name as the mod name and as you can see I've capitalized that and then what happens here is this makes sure that the text that comes up is the right text. So you can see here it says Combinationville chapter title chapter one title. This is the name that will be displayed in those little boxes. And as you can see, I made a mistake last night. Instead of flight, I put fight. So I need to save that. And then we have the the other four entries. If you don't name that file correctly, then it won't happen. Now the rest of this is really just to do with the icons and other things. So we're not worried about those at this point. The save, well, there are saves in here, but they will be removed when I actually send the file. The same for the screenshots, they will be removed. The scripts, this is just basically saying um, which backgrounds will be displayed. So I'm going to try to include four backgrounds, one for each map, so that each time that you've played it, it changes the background. You could just put one, and I did originally for most of my mods, but it's not actually hard creating backgrounds. So I think I'll do that. The sound, well, this is the, um, the sounds that are included uh, in in the mod, sorry, I'm looking at these because I don't re remember including these. Uh, but it's supposed to be there because obviously that's 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 my voice acting in there. Now we've got this UI. The UI is the game startup. Now as you can see, it says Diamond Dogsville. So what I need to do is I need to open um, the downloads folder because yesterday I saved the music which is this one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this across here and I'm going to rename this I'm going to uh, rename this yes I've copied I've just copied that file I will call it X I need to rename this to this and now this is what happens it's called that now what happened is um, the game the mod will automatically look for a file called game startup 01 and will play this now this has been been created by Christian Baker and it's the music that will play in the background of the mem uh, the menu all right stream uh, steam grid grid icons well those are the old ones they will need to be created let me just show you 
one of those that was for the diamond dogs bill all right so they need to be deleted all right good and then the vmfs now the vmfs are uh, the basic map files that hammer or any other editor would use to edit the files so if you are a mapper and you want to see how jason gimber created some of the effects that he did in his map you can open this up and it will show you all right and the rest of the stuff well the map list i need to put all of the correct names of the maps uh, i'll be honest with you i don't know what difference it makes but i'll do it anyway so the quickest way for me to do this would just be to be quite lazy really i suppose and um, just copy them up here now you'll notice that um, they don't have the uh, file extension it doesn't need the file extension now I'm being honest with you I don't know if it makes a difference but I'm putting them in alphabetical order because that's the order that they will be in the uh, chapter titles anyway so I don't know whether that makes a difference or not all right so we can close that all right so now we're at the point where if I started it it would work and we could play all of the maps but it would have the wrong uh, chapters you can see that I've got these chapters here now I can't open them oh, I suppose I could um, I don't know how easy that would if I open this up in uh... okay so this is the chapter this is what it looks like um, so that's the image so what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to have to go in and I'm going to have to play them I'm going to have to take some screenshots the screenshots will be used for the uh, website itself but they'll also be used, I'll need to create some screenshots for the chapter titles. Now this is normally done without like a weapon and a um, heads up display. So I'll need to do that. Uh, and then I'll also need to use those images uh, for the Steam Grid icons. So that's my next task now. My next task is to play it. But before I play it, I want to make sure that I've got the right settings. And by the right settings, I'm talking about making sure that it's um, set up for window because okay it is this means that uh, if it wasn't you wouldn't be able to see it I can't somehow I really can't get the software to work so it shows it on my live twitch okay so here we go I'm going to jump this now we should have the new music Okay, this is the new music. We'll create the icon later. The icon being the Diamond Dogsville. All right, that's fine. It's the right music, it's working. So now what you can see here, we have this canal flight, the nest, volatile energy, and bonus cannon beach. Now they're all the wrong images, which we will change. You'll notice also that it says entry one, entry two. Now, I did that somewhere. I'll, I'll have a look where I've done it afterwards because otherwise it would just say chapter. All right, so what we need to do is we need to go back and we need to play Canal Flight. Now, this is my very first playthrough. I have not played this before. I know nothing about it. Now, this puts me in a little bit of a quandary because really, I have to take a screenshot. All right, um, and I want some screenshots, but I don't want to sort of spoil the fun of playing it either. So basically what will happen is I'll take some screenshots as I'm playing, but when there comes a time when I think I see something interesting, I'll probably stop and get rid of these weapons and the screen HUD and everything and keep those for the chapter titles Sorry. so if you're new to this Combinationville is a mapping competition for my website planetphilip.com where the mappers are only allowed to have two weapons and two enemies now I haven't been given any weapons so I'm not too worried that I'm going to get caught with some uh, uh, enemy all right now this looks like a perfect background 
All right, so I'm going to take this opportunity. So again, if you're new to the console, um, what you can do is in the op in the op sorry in the options menu, you have keyboard, and then down here you have advanced, and you click this button, enable developer console. Now, it will you have a button which in this case is I don't know I don't even know what it's called. It's that like button next to number one. And when you click that, the developer con console comes up, and this allows you to do things. The first uh, piece of text I put in is SV underscore cheat one. That allows me to do some things. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do no clip. Now, no clip allows me to fly. I'm going to do no target, which allows me to be ignored by the enemy. So if something happens, it doesn't. They don't start shooting at me or anything. Um, I'm not going to worry about putting. God on because I'm not doing it. What I need to do now is I need to um, remove the HUD. So if I now go, you'll see in the bottom left hand corner there is no um, heads up display. And I'm going to change the field of view. I'm going to change it to 300, and that sort of pulls me back and makes it wider and it makes it for a much better screenshots so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a number of screenshots from here now as you saw I put on this no clip this allows me to fly basically um, so so I'm wondering I mean that's quite nice I might sort of take a couple of those I don't know whether I want to have to be careful not to again that's quite nice I can see how I feel about it later Okay, so the mouse seems to be responding very slowly. All right, so I've, I've done that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the normal field of view, which is that. I'm going to take off no clip, and I'm going to take off no target. So basically, when I start playing now, it will be as normal. I'm going to go back to the mouse. The mouse seems really strange. Increase it a little bit. All right. Um, so now I'm back in the game. I can put the um, HUD back on if I want to, but I'm not actually particularly worried about it. All right, now it's just too much. Whew. What a day. What need to do with the mouse filter. All right. So um, I'll probably save now. So I've taken my screenshots for the chapter one. So now it's really just about playing. I mean, do I want to? A crowbar there. Looks like there's a crowbar there, but there's no way to get it. There's a ladder, so I can definitely go in with a. Okay, well, let's just try and jump across. Nope. That's quite a nice screenshot. Took that. Could always use that. Ooh, what's that little bit of red in the corner? Oh, right. So I'm up. This is where I'm supposed to go. Alright. Sorry. Alright, there we go. So often the first playthrough is really about screenshots and just getting something working. Since I'm live streaming, I'll carry on, but I probably would have... Um, Yeah, okay. Yeah, the display matrix has been removed. Uh, it was just causing too many problems. I'll talk about that another time. Uh, this is unrelated hitbox TV. Oh, okay, all right, five seconds. On, on mine, it seems like much longer than five seconds. Anyway, so here we go. We're back up somewhere else. Ah, oh, right, okay, so basically exactly where I started. So I, I really have to jump across here, that's pretty annoying. All right, so, all right, jump one made. Oh, nearly missed that one. Jump two now. I've got to take a chance, haven't I, and drop down there. Definitely the crowbar there. I can't see how I'm going to make that. I'm going to definitely lose some life. So anyway, I'll save. Um, I'll save it here. Okay. Okay. 
which was oh okay all right okay hitbox all right I'll have a look at that another time anyway here we go so we're going to take a chance and we're going to try to miss it completely and we really don't want to go back up there so I'm just going to reload because really Ooh. all right so we have to worry about that another time so I've still got one more jump to make but I can't go any further because I need the crowbar <laughs> I should have seen that coming Stupid. Alright, well. Am I missing something? Is there a crowbar in the water perhaps? Oh, do me a favour. How close was I? Have a good look around here before I drown. Nothing. Alright, oh, definitely nothing down here, is there? Definitely not. There's no ladder to go up there. Wow, oh, this is a bit frustrating. All right, so um, we're loading this again. All right. Is that one closer? All right. Well. All right, so if if I don't do this, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. But it can't, I mean, it can't be that hard. So I'm obviously running as fast as I can. And I'm just not getting close enough. I'm not, I'm not even close. It's a bit strange. Anyway. So as I come out of the water, in the bottom right-hand corner there, you can see I've got some kind of weird effect. I don't really know what that's all about. Am I supposed to be collecting these boxes or something? Using the boxes to sort of build a little bridge or a little walkway or I can't see that I am. Alright. F9 loads my last save, so that's what we'll do. I can't I'm just trying to see whether that walkway is closer than this walkway. Anyway, I must be jumping too early, so I'm just gonna try and jump really late. And I don't even get close. All right, now I'm a bit frustrated because that's just too difficult. All right, gate override. Am I supposed to be walking along this here? Oh, what a fool. Well, there's nothing in there, so do I take a box and and walk around the top? Because that looks like it would be a lot easier to get to. But I don't really want to carry a box all the way here. All right, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take this box. I'm going to climb up the ladder. climb ladders with boxes I've done it before obviously not so here I am um, I can't see how I can get up there without there's no other there's nothing for me to collect there's nothing here well I'm absolutely stumped absolutely stumped any ideas <laughs> There's something here. Ah, oh, the water. Oh, son of a gun. It wasn't hard, was it? Alright, so the water comes up. Do do do. Go and collect the. What's it? Alright. There we go. Alright, so now we're up here. There's that effect again. A bit weird. All right, so that was a bit stupid. My apologies for that. So 
so we're back up here. So now we have the cr uh, crowbar, which will give us ooh, a chance to break the thing, but we have to get back up to the start again. I think jumping is faster than just crawling. And here we go. So we save it. We save. Right, and then we uh, just run across. Son of a bitch. As you can tell, I'm not really a very good jumper. In fact, I'm a terrible jumper. Probably to do with my keys. Oh, you have to be kidding me. <laughs> Oh, shame upon you. Here. Oh my God. Is anybody else this bad at running and jumping? I mean, this first one's pretty easy. Second one, maybe not so easy. may be how cringeworthy is this I have the title of the cringeworthy is jumps did you see that uh, effect in the corner there again oh, sorry. oh Philip my mapping is really strange today all right sorry I've had enough of jumping. There we go. I don't normally do this, but I'm live streaming, so you must be more frustrated than I am. So, here we go. All right, so this, from this point forward, I'm a little bit more nervous because it means that, that I could get attacked because I have a weapon. All right, so am I going even higher now? Yeah, so where does that lead me? I'm just gonna find out. Okay. So what this does is it gives me a chance to go up here. Alright, I like that. That was nice. That was well done. Something very simple. screenshot but um, save it quickly right so here I now have my two weapons which are the crowbar and the machine gun so that's what I've got and I suppose the enemies will be Metro Cop and one other I think I might. <laughs> Put the back on so I know now how many um, weapons I have and my health is. Right, so one assumes I'm going to be coming back that way. This is a nice area. So hopefully I'll pick up some more ammo when I get there. 
Throw that puppy over there. Right now, I'm just putting these up here because I don't know about you, but if I see a door, I'm thinking, okay, somebody could come through. Now, it probably won't stop them, but it might give me a clue that they're coming because I'll hear the, the door break or the, um, the wood break. So I need to pick up some ammo. Oh, I like it. Very nice. Push this along. Up some health. This is very nice. I like this. Well, I'm having fun so far. Any second now. Right, so up we go. Okay, oh, that's so nice. That actually could be a screenshot, really, couldn't it? I mean, uh, like a. All right, let's do it. I'll take a screenshot, but. So, have to save here, obviously. So what have we got? places. Alright, so this is obviously going to be the, the part where it, you know, excrement hits the ventilator. So in we go. Anything I want to do here? No. So that's done. Now, you've seen me jump. You think I'm a bad jumper? Wait till you see me drive. That's a shame, look, buildings that don't have bottoms. Yeah, I know they didn't have that Oh! I'm going that fast. Right. So we have to get over the jump.
Oh. Well, that was a bit of bad luck. Right. So here, my plan now is slightly different. Just to not even worry about killing them. Because... Because I will go in for that boss. Right, so my first point of call is to go back and have a look. Obviously not in the, in the canal, but I, mean, I can't really do anything. Have some fun with that. I'll show you how inaccurate this weapon is. Alright, right, there's some health there, but I'm on 96. Alright, so there's no much, not much fun to be had back there. Especially since we've got this. So, we save here. So, only problem so far has been the buildings with the... Uh, the lack of foundations. It's got a, a, um, like a boost, but as soon as you use the boost, you go everywhere. Well, that didn't help, did it? Is it telling me I'm supposed to leave the dam? Oh. Okay, there's some extra health. Right, here we go. So perhaps we should save it from here. You have to be the worst player ever. Go on a bit more. I mean, if there's a lot of um, this definitely looks like it's supposed to be for. Expect me to make that. Good. All right. So here we go. Oh. 
so much for that. Okay, one assumes that I've reached the end. Reached a base. Dr. Freeman. And there we go. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Look, that when I move the mouse. Yeah, acceptable. You really didn't watch my uh, driving. So that's something to do with the mouse. That's me doing that. How cool am I, huh? Mr. Black and White. Anyway, that was the first map called Canal Flight by the Blazer. Lots of red stuff in the console, but we don't really care about the console. So we play a new game now, and this is called The Nest. Let's see what we got going on here. So remember, I need to get screenshots. Don't worry about the node graph out of date. That's the two with the ANI file. Um, remember, I need screenshots. Now, I can't move the mouse at this point. Okay, if you ever need help, follow the tracks until you see the aerial. We can send a message. Well, I definitely need help now. All right. Okay. Well, this doesn't look too bad for a start. So, if you remember last time, a few moments ago, I put these things on. These allow me to take some screenshots um, without too much interference. I don't need to get rid of the, the weapon. I didn't have a weapon. So, I mean, it's not necessarily the best, but uh, for playing. All right. So I'll just go back to where I started. Take off no clip, take off no target, put the field of view back to 75, which is the standard. I'm not too worried about being attacked because it's unusual for mappers to let the player be attacked without a weapon as long. So there's the crowbar. So how do I get in? I get in through the roof. So how do I get in through the roof? I climb up on top of it. That's what we do. Anything in here? Yeah. First, never hurts to. Right, so from this point forward, bad things could happen. I don't think much bad's going to happen though. I'm only having a crowbar and I'm out in the open. This is when it's going to get interesting. Right. Ooh. Oh, where did they come from? Right out there. 
Alright, so fast head crabs are going to be my enemy. Now, I better not spend too long here because they might just keep coming at me. for me to go is up there. So, up the hill. Into the house. Alright, this is nicely done. This is, obviously something's happened here. Kind of like fall. Oh! Just for a second, I thought I'd, I thought I'd um, fallen in there. Right. done is I haven't turned my um, HUD back on so I'll put that back on that gives me vital information sometimes I mean it's fun not to play with it but at the same time you know, you know when things says it, he falls in. Oh, you're such an idiot. Alright, well we know what we need to do, so now we can just do it pretty quickly. They're going to be coming at us straight away. These chairs are really annoying. Be nicely placed, get rid of you. Pick up some health. Up the ladder. Killed me as I was jumping. He killed me. How annoying is he? Alright, don't worry about that. We must decide where we need to go. Alright, so we're, we're we're good health wise. any of that. There's no way I'm going to be able to jump through that space there. That just leads me to uh, up here. Alright, I have to admit so far I'm not having much fun with this one. Where do 
I jump to? None of all of this is blocked. All right. Do you think I'm supposed to try and squeeze through there? Oh, that would be a squeeze, wouldn't it? No. Well, I come through that door, but. Well, I mean, why put that there if... Ah! Okay, that was a bit silly of me. Got him. Oh. Right, well, let's... Whoa, and suddenly now they're all jumping up here. How the heck did they start doing that? Cheeky bastards. Uh oh. Alright, get the heck out of here. Trying to get on this little walkway up here. Oh, now I'm in big, big trouble. See what I'm supposed to do. Emergency. User death Wow. Alright, I'm playing on easy by the way. Goodness knows what. I mean, this is just outrageous. This is just. Alright, well, that was lucky. I managed to jump up there. Yeah, fell down a hole. So I've gone. I've got some respite from these rooms. Right, well, clearly the thing here is to save. I've got lots of red stuff again in the console, meaning it's not loading. Might not be the mapper's fault though. See why I saved? Yeah, buddy. That's why I saved. Suppose I just have to call the radio. Oh, it doesn't work. Guess we'll press that. Oh! That annoyed me. That's not the mapper's fault though. I hate picking up the first weapon and then it just gets into your hand and So now what? It doesn't work. So I'm not going to be able to kill all of them, am I? What do I do now? Am I 
climb up the ladder? I do. And I just sit there and wait, I suppose. Well, this is interesting. Not necessarily in a good way, but... I just stand up here throwing and hope that they work. Right, so what do I do? Go back down. Is it really that simple? You just keep killing them until they're all dead? Alright. Ah, awesome. Oh, okay, look, there's like these things I've got to get working. Oh my god, if they just. Right, so how does one do that then? Kidding me. Oh my god. Right. I can't say I'm a happy bunny about that. But gotta do it. So off we go. see those rooms where are they there's one but how do I get in there where is it it's next to this room it's next to this room right so it's this room am I getting it through that way I need a box Table. No, I have to. I can. Does that help? No. So I have to get in it through a room downstairs, which is totally infested with GBs. This is just driving me crazy. This room, this house, is... Okay, so can I make holes in the wall? Or am I supposed to get in there then? I suppose I'm gonna be able to drop it. happily take uh, any suggestions as to how I'm supposed to get into these other rooms
Okay, so I cannot deny that I am not absolutely frustrated with this and I'm thinking of stopping because if it's no fun, why play it? And this is no fun and I can't, I just... Key here is to blow the doors off. There we go. So now I should be able to get into it. Not that one. Not this one. Okay. Giving me one more light, one presumes. <sighs> Two more. So I saw that red light down there, but let's get some more ammo. Pick up some more health, and off we go. What's there? How do I see what's in that room? Anything that's in that room? Yeah, there's a red light. There's a red light in there. How do I get in there? Oh, what was that? quite useful so I'm not being inundated with with the um, fast but there's definitely lots more of them around where is it So now I'm confused. Okay. So I need to get in there. This door is locked. It's happening though, got that rumbling coming. Right, now that doesn't really get us anywhere except over here, which then gets us over here. Don't you dare. Right, so my objective in this particular map is to send a message. To do that, I need to get all of these things started. Yeah, that was a bit obvious. I should have, should have been much more aware of it. And all the time, I've had these fast head crabs causing me so many problems. Anything else while I'm here? No. Right. So I'm figuring that I need to get up here. Oh, what happened there? You've got to keep turning it until it goes green. Right, now that's four. So now I need to get back out as quickly as possible. But before I do that, I need to save. And I need to jump up here. Jump up here. Right, now you can see I have all the green lights on and um, 
I should be able to send my message. So do I get back up here? Send out a rescue party immediately. So some, some are fallen into hell. That's what's happened. All right, well, that's actually quite a nice screenshot. I quite like that. So um, I'm going to get rid of my um, HUD. So that's that. I'm going to change the field of view. This allows me to get down and all right. So what I'm looking for is, I'm looking for sparks. So I'm just taking lots of screenshots as we see this. Right, and then we're back to normal. Uh, and we're saving, if that hadn't already done it automatically. Oh, don't you dare crash on me. Well, I better be careful because I don't have any weapons. So what? I'm, I'm stuck here for... No, I can jump over the edge there. But I can't... Wow. Okay, so I was just trying to... Oh! So it crashed on me. Yeah, whatever. Crikey. Okay. So I need to, that text didn't come up before, did it? I don't think so. So I need to get, uh, I need a crowbar. I'm just running around looking for a crowbar. Oh, you're kidding me. How am I supposed? Well, that was more luck than judgment. Well, I'm still looking for my crowbar. But perhaps I'm not going to get it. So, I have to somehow... No, please! Alright, let me just tell you now, I hate this level. I'm supposed to try and... Draw them to me. Come 
<laughs> so, I have to say that it's it's very well done, but I don't like it. I mean, it's nicely. Nothing to. I don't want. So how am I supposed to get back up with those? Son of a gun! Jump. Okay, so that doesn't make any difference because I've run out of ammo. Okay. So where am I? Oh. Just outrageous. Right, I'm saving. Crikey, what a game. Oh, and there it is. Yeah, when I don't need it. F you. Oof, what a challenge. What a challenge that was. Okay, so, I mean, it drove me crazy, but it was very well done. Excuse me. It didn't, it didn't look as good as it could have done, but... The general idea was excellent. I think that although I kind of said I hate it, it did exactly what Combinationville was all about, the right combination of weapons and ammo, but I should have had that crowbar a little bit earlier, surely. Maybe I, I couldn't get to it. All right, last um, main entry. Here we go. So remember, I need to take screenshots. All right, well, something's going to happen in a minute because I can't do anything. Here it comes. Okay, so um, screenshots first of all. All right. 
right, well, it's not really um, perfect, but it's, some, um, it's something. Oh, sorry. Okay. So I turn the no clip back on. I turn the no target back on. Um, I give my weapon back. All right, and then I put the HUD back on. All right, and then I save it, and we're off. So I can I can manipulate this, but I can't. I'm, I'm thinking that I climb up it, but but that doesn't work. So I pull it. Okay. So I've got it in my hand. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to pull it and do something with it. I suppose to No, I've lost it. It's stuck up the top there. Alright, so Right. Well that was I suppose what I was supposed to do, so I have to reload this. Not particularly auspicious start so I take it I pull it but it only goes a certain way it only goes a certain distance so how far can I pull it to make it touch that. I'm not sure if you have any better ideas. It seems to let go when I... And then it gets stuck. do anything with this. This doesn't open, this doesn't open, and I can't break in here. So it has to be this, but this particular mechanic is just too um, inconsistent. I mean really. Perhaps if I made it touch the wall. Alright. Okay, well that didn't work. Well I'm becoming increasingly frustrated with this.
can't see what else I'm supposed to do. There's nothing for me to do. I take it, but what do I do with it? It doesn't pull out that far. I can't. Sorry, I really don't know what what I'm supposed to do with this. I can't pull it out far enough to. When I hold it, I can't. It doesn't. It's not like a climbing thing. It won't allow me to climb. I can hold it, and I can pull it, but it won't pull that far. There we go, look, it gets sort of stuck. So, one would presume I'm supposed to, to pull it to here. So I pull it, and then it lets go. So this is just so frustrating. I can't move any of these things, I can't open them. I can't do anything here. I like how that's so black. It's not really looking very good. I can't do anything here. I can't hit the machine to make it do anything differently. I can't use it. Am I supposed to take it to him? bring him back to life. So here I am, I'm trying. To get it to to do something. And then it gets all gets stuck in the wall. Got it. And now I've lost it. And it's killing me every time I touch it anyway. Because I'm just touching the metal wall and... I think I get there. Right, I've got it now. I bring it towards this. 